Okay, I'm all about being transparent. This is the Mark III that I have in for review, one of two. This is the fully assembled one. There's also a kit one that Bill of Punish Props and I put together. The fully assembled one has a bit of a sordid history and it's dead. I'm sending it back. What killed it? Maker's Muse. I'll tell you all about that in just a sec. I'm Joel, this is 3D Printing Nerd. That Angus man, destroyer of worlds, uh, he made himself a, a torture egg or a retraction egg or some sort of egg for Easter. It was a model that was going to be, or at least he thought, difficult to print. He didn't know how right he was. This is the egg printed at 200% scale. It's printed in the Protopasta multicolor filament that I made down at the Protopasta headquarters not that long ago. And it was printed on this Mark III right here. The issue though, I came back and it was printing mid-air and uh, there was a big giant layer shift. Made me kind of sad. So I thought, well, let's reload the filament. Let's try again. And it failed because it stopped. It was printing mid-air and it was jamming and it go click, 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 click. So I did it again. And it, I mean, the, the tolerance, the clearance or whatever the right word is, it's all correct. So had it worked, it would have been great. But I've been running into issues with this very specific machine, layer shifts, clogged extruders. And now I can't fit any filament through it. It just seems to clog straight away. And when it was working, I got more layer shifts than I should have. So unfortunately, this is gonna go back to Joseph Prusa. I've already talked to him. We're gonna get it worked out. And the kit Mark III that he did send for review that Bill has been using has been working fantastic. Plus, I've seen a lot of other people print this with, ow, sharp, with their Mark III, and it's been working great. In fact, uh, Angus himself printed one on the Mark III, so I know it works. So we're going to take this, and we're just going to set it aside. Now that my Mark III is out of the way, we can just get to talking about this egg. So Mark III is doing a really good job. I could tell I had my bottom layers correct because it wasn't too squished down. There was space between the parts and uh, it would totally, totally move if it didn't layer shift up here and wasn't actually fused together. So the Mark III would have done it had I not had some issues with it, but I still wanted to print this. So I went over to my Mark II and I printed it. 100% scale, not too bad. It's good up here, up here, but the bottom is fused together. I printed this with the protopasta multicolor filament that I made. So if the bottom wasn't fused together, this model would uh, turn. It would be just great. It's kind of a good green. I know I could take a knife and I could score it, but that would end in sadness and bleeding because I always cut myself. So I decided to do a test. On the Mark II, I changed the Z height just a bit. You've got the live adjust Z on the Prusa machines. So I turned it up just a little bit, just got it off the bed, just a little bit. I printed out just a start of one and all of the parts come out. They're not fused. And so this new Z height would work just fine. How fine? This fine. This model printed on the Prusa Mark II 3D printer using the protopasta multicolor filament that we made. And I always have a problem turning these things. I've got these big meaty fingers and they just don't want to turn anything. Come on, you. I don't know how, how Angus can be so delicate and turn his. <laughs> okay, these 100% eggs just don't work with my, my digits. My hands are too large for this. I need something a little larger. How about that? This same model, 200% scale, but I printed this on the Prusa Mark II multi-material machine. It does have some issues. Um, the, the print's not perfect, but it did work. Nothing was fused together and the model is able to spin. This was printed in Matter Hacker's PLA, uh, the gold, silver, lime green. And I thought it looked great. And as we've discussed in the past, the waste block or the purge block for tall models is ludicrous. It's nearly solid plastic. That is not heavy, nor is it nearly solid plastic. Just had to, you know, extrude some to, to make sure the color was out before it went to the next one. So tall models 
are not efficient when it comes to multi-material. However, I didn't care because I wanted it to work and it did. One more thing. I decided to use some more of that protopasta filament and it, uh, it's multicolor. I mean, here's blues and greens and yellows and now it went to pinks, oranges, reds. Oh, and it turns so easily. This is 250% scale or 2.5x scale, however you want to say it, on the Prusa Mark II and it's glorious. Plus, it's big enough to where it's easy to turn. Look at that, it's pretty. There you have it. Here's how at least I was able to break my Prusa i3 Mark III 3D printer. Angus has worked fine. It's just a problem with my machine and how it was originally built. But the egg model is cool. Angus has it available. You can uh, click a link, I think, up there or down in the description that'll take you to his video where he shows you how to get it. And uh, I'd be really curious to see how it does on any of your 3D printers. I'm very curious to see if this could be printed with an SLA printer, maybe the Moai or the Form 2. I'd be curious to see what a really large one would look like on the G-Max. And finally, because of the rings on the bottom, there's three different rings. I'm wondering if you could put it on a base that had three motorized little wheels that turned at a different rate and you could animate this. Maybe I could reach out to Adafruit. Maybe they'd help me out with that. Well, there we go. This is the torture egg, the retraction egg, the maker's muse egg, the bane of my Prusa existence. I hope you enjoyed this. If you wanna support what we do, of course, click links down in the description. Any of those will benefit me and make me smile. But beyond all that, don't forget to hug each other more, because I love you guys. As always, high five. All right, I got the all, the all the other stuff filmed. I think we should try to we should try to make this work. Let's see. We take all the parts that have been layer separated. Spin this. <laughs> oh, forgot one piece right here. There we go. There you go. It's almost like a little like a bowl of sorts. See, plenty of room to shift too. It's an alien. I'm going to step back. I've made art.